issue coming up, and uh, I know Calvert Black doesn't have much time, so we need to get Calvert to discuss this briefly. Calvert, you want to talk about there's an important ordinance in the county, and a lot of us spoke about this in 12-02. Um, As a matter of fact, 12-01 was just up. So um, there's an effort. Again, a lot of us actually believe in the Constitution and, and what the town of Bottles talked about. But Talbot, if you come up and talk to them, you've got to go briefly. Talbot Black, uh, most influential Hi, patriot in the state. Dave? Uh, most influential patriot in the state. And uh, he's coming up to talk about. Is it okay? It's got to change the battery. Change the battery. Change the battery. Hang on, hang on. Speak quickly. Y'all can talk. <laughs> And I'll be really brief. You mean you mean to go sign, right? your grass. It will tell you uh, that you have to keep your pool clear year-round. You can't let it settle or, or go during the winter and, and turn into a fishing pond. Um, and they will restrict the type of storage that you can have on your private property. This is all they say to reduce crime in the county. <laughs> and to help in, you know, increase your property value. The problem with it is we have this thing called private property rights that allows you to do what you want to do on your private property. As long as you aren't physically or, or um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? There's no real damage to anybody else. If there's real demonstrable damage to anybody else, you go to court and you sue them and you get, you get recovery for it. But perceived property value and those kind of things aren't under the purview of private property rights to where you're hurting somebody else. So what we've done, we've got a group of citizens, and we invite you to join us who are fighting this, who want to stop it. We don't think that Lexington County should be the homeowners association for the county. We don't need the homeowner Nazi coming to your yard and saying, grass is too long, or you got too many leaves on the ground, or you need to paint, or your car's the wrong color, or you're washing the car to drive and you're not supposed to. All the things about the HOAs that we hate is what we don't want to have the county doing. So... Um, there's a website that we put together called NoPropertyPolice.org. We invite you to go to NoPropertyPolice.org, sign our petition, um, and we're going to be um, distributing pamphlets, um, not pamphlets, little uh, push cards we call them, with information about what's going on this Saturday. Um, if you want to help, you can meet us at the, inter at the Bilo, that is at the intersection of uh, St. Andrews Road and Piney Grove Road. Got an organization organizing the um, what time is literature it drop at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock Saturday morning at the uh, Bilo at the intersection of uh, St. Andrews Road and Piney Grove Road. And we're working to stop this thing. So we've only got about uh, three or four weeks of time before they consider this and try to pass it. We've got three. We think they're going to vote against it out of the nine members on the council. We need two more to stop it. So. Are you taking donations? Of course, always, because the, the printing is expensive, and we're doing some other things that uh, we're going to try to get more publicity, and it'll cost some money. So the donations are to, um, right now, we're running through the Palmetto Liberty Pack, so checks can be made out to Palmetto Liberty, and go to nonprofitpolice.org and sign our petition. Tell me, uh, yes. if, if, if this passes, who becomes the victim? Uh, who gets restitution for this supposed property? Uh, well, nobody gets restitution, but the victim will be the property owner that goes to jail, like the lady down in uh, Mount Pleasant. Just a cu uh, couple of months ago, there was a story that was run. This lady couldn't afford to, uh, she lost her job, she couldn't afford to keep her yard neat, and she ended up going to jail because she got fined. She couldn't pay the fine, of course, because she couldn't keep her yard clean, didn't have the money, couldn't pay the fine. She went to jail for like six days. It made the news. 
and enough people saw it that saw that she was in a bad situation, came over and helped her get her yard cleaned up. So she went to jail over it. Okay. Well, by, by the way, what, what I mean is, uh, yeah, hang on. Yeah, if there's a property uh, infringement on somebody's right, usually the, the victim of that infringement is going to seek restitution yeah, in the court there's, of law. There's nothing. If you at, lost property value point, or something, there's no... To at, the at, at this who lost point, if this value. passes, then the state becomes the victim or the county becomes the victim, and they're going to seek restitution of $500 a day oh, or $500 a day that, plus that $4 goes dollars, into yeah. the county coffers right. and not into whoever may have been disaffected. Yeah, disaffected right. That's correct. By it. That's correct. Uh, yeah. So essentially, this corporation, which is the county, <coughs> has now become the victim that gets the restitution. Well, they get the money, right? Yeah. So, who, uh, so, so if, if this passes, and uh, I don't cut my grass, um, what is it in the law that, that uh, causes me to cut my grass? So like, where is it written in the law that, that my... Well, no, the ordinance just says you got to keep your grass to a certain uh, level. And so I can't afford to do that. Or, or it, but then you got to pay the $500 fine. So i got to pay the $500 fine, and i got to pay somebody to cut the grass, or i got to pay for the lawnmower. Yeah, or, what happens or, then? or you just go to jail if you can't pay the fine. It's up to 30 days in jail. So what you're saying is, is in this bad economy, if this ordinance passes, you have a situation where you're going to have a situation that with the ordinance in place, you make a bad situation work. And, you know, it, it could be interpreted that way. It would be a contempt charge, I, I would think. It, 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 it would be a contempt. Uh, Paul Ann had a question that didn't be it. Well, the thing is, they don't have common sense. Down the front of my property, I've got scuffing on vines that run about the length of this building right here. And they came over and wanted to ask me, why I don't cut my bushes. <laughs> and this is the kind of situation where we've got a lot of people making decisions that don't know what they're doing. We cut the scuffing on vines one time a year, and after that it looks straggly the rest of the year. I told them to get off my property. And I have to say, I, he's one of my constituents, and we have and there's some certain laws that, that need to be changed. Bill, you got a question? Well, <clears throat> with this... Uh, You'll pay for it. They don't have a Lexington County official yardstick. <laughs> you know, they're going to be out there. They find grass that's only eight inches tall. They're going to pull out the miracle bro and spray it over it. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, you get it ten inches in, they get their 500 bucks. They won't wear a black jack. They won't wear a green one. There's, 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 there's already the a civil remedy for really this instead of, instead of criminal. But you can pushing it. Um, we can only speculate who else is pushing it. There's speculation of certain uh, home developers who are wanting this to make their job easier to sell homes. So they, they're they're I mean, are they like donating money to council? Or I don't know, like, should, shouldn't we try and target you know, strike a group there? That's another way. Yes? Um, I sued my neighbor for a dead tree in her yard. Uh -huh. Okay, limbs kept winding up on my fence. And I fixed my fence twice. The third time I sued him, I had to pay eighty dollars to go to magistrate court. And then the, the judge found in my favor. She had to pay my eighty dollars back plus three hundred and twenty to get my fence. Right. So there's already a remedy for that kind of problem. We don't need any more. We don't need the property police coming around checking your yard. So which, which councilmen are on the fence? Who we need to talk to? All right, Brad Matthews is pushing it. Um, Bill Banning is, uh, says he's on the fence. He needs to be pushed on to the right side. Uh, Johnny Jeffcoat is less on the fence. He needs a good hard shove to the right side. Um, Todd Cullum, um, he says he's against it the way it's currently worded, but he might be for it if it was worded differently. He needs a good hard shove to the right side. Those are the four we're targeting. Debbie Summers, we feel it's a lost cause that she's not going to make any change. Hey, so how about that one? Connor. Connor. Um, he wants fun. Yeah, and he's on the right side so far. But I know he, that. He needs a good... I know that man. Contact him and make sure he stays on the right side. Please. We got the three who voted against it to start with were Connor and um, Bobby Kiesler and Frank Townsend. Make sure they stay on the right side. They all need to be sure. contacted. What is he doing? He used, what, he used to be with the bank. He used to bet on 
all the people eating the band. You know, I ain't seen them. I wouldn't even care for them. I just leave them in front. Yeah, I'm not sure what it's what it's your question. Okay, uh, one more question, Don. Yes. So this is already taking place in Charleston. Yeah, in Mount Pleasant, it's already been, in, it's, it's already there, and the lady's going to jail for it. Yep. yep. But did she get her grass cut? After that, she had neighbors come over. After, I guess there were some neighbors who... Now, see another tune, man. <laughs> Play Dixie. Dixie. Yeah. Play Dixie. <laughs> Dixie. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Gaddix. I haven't played in years.